graders, let's go ahead and knock out this homework. I got the auto ones tonight, so I'll start at number 13. Up to 12 people, P, can ride in the van. So that means we know the number 12 is involved. It says up to 12 people. There can't be more than 12 people in that van. So that means the number has to be smaller than or equal to 12. Right? It says up to 12. So it can be 12. Since P is the variable, this would be P is less than or equal to 12. Uh, number 15 is next. The distance of the race, R, is farther than 6.2. I know 6.2 is going to be in here. We know that it's going to be farther than. Okay? Uh, farther means greater than. So that means my symbol will be, uh, let's see, could be this way, right? Uh, it's not going to be equal to because it says greater than, right? Farther than. And that means R is farther than 6.2. Now, it's very possible you might see some people write these like uh, 12 is uh, greater or equal to uh, P. Could even write this one as 6.2 is uh, less than right, R. So if they put it to the opposite sides, just make sure your symbol is turned in the opposite direction. Number 17, the number of people the rest dot can seat at one time is no more than 171. So we have 171. No more than. Okay. Uh, that means at the maximum, 171. So it can be less than 171 or equal to 171. And that would be P is less than or equal to 171. All right. Now we're headed to number 19. The bill B was less than 45. So B is going to be less than, not equal to, but less than $45. Number 21, the speed of the truck S must be no less than 34 miles an hour. No less than 34 miles an hour. So we know that we're gonna have S in here. We know we're going to have 34. And now it says, remember, it could be no less than. In other words, it could be greater than, right? So it could be bigger than it. It could even be equal to it. But it can't be less than uh, 34. Number 23, Maya is taller than George. If M represents Maya's height and G represents I'm sorry, gauge. Uh, gauge is height, right? An inequality that shows the relationship between the heights. Well, Mia, and I'll just put M, is, uh, let's see, taller, so she's going to be greater than gauge, okay? All right, so let's move to number 25. A city in New England just experienced its greatest one-day snowfall. All right. Uh, right and inequality represent a snowfall that would beat this record. Well, snowfall is 19.7 inches of snow. And this says, uh, it's experienced the greatest one-day snowfall, right and inequality, to represent uh, a snowfall that would beat it. Well, that means that this snowfall is going to be greater, right? And since it's beating it, it won't be equal to it. Uh, number 27, a certain airplane must carry no more than 134 passengers during a flight. Right, and inequality represent the number of passengers, P, that would not be allowed during this fight or flight, excuse me. Okay. We have the number 134. We know that's going to be in here. It says, uh, can carry no more than, okay, no more. So that means it can be less than, right? 
The number can be less than, it can even be equal to it, but it cannot be more than. It. And I think that's all for me, the rest are for you to do. It's like pretty easy homework tonight. Uh, that make up for the hard homework the other night. So uh, remember you got all the even ones. Good luck with them and we'll go over them in class tomorrow. Take care.